Kazakhstan's history narrated through art. 55 million tenge will be allocated for purchase of sculptures and paintings as part of the Modernization of Public Consciousness program. The best works will replenish the fund of the regional museum this year. Paintings by Nikolai Ashtema are the history on canvas. The paintings depicted Kazakh botters take you back to those times. This painting depicts the scene of the Khan's inauguration. You can see he's lifted up on a carpet. There are no such paintings where someone is lifted on a felt carpet. I came up with this idea that warriors lift up their ruler sitting on a board covered with felt, and he holds a symbol. <laughs> Seventy-six-year-old artist has recently switched to national motifs. According to art critics, a new style made the painter feel young again. Nikolai Pavlovich has the spirit of a warrior despite all this softness. This is also reflected in his works and coloring. Look, the clouds are tinted with gold. The grass is juicy. This is the heroic theme. Sculptures by Yuri Kostanets can be used as supplementary educational materials for history lessons, what is actually done. The sculptor organizes excursions for school students. His works are not just statues of wood, but sculptural compositions. They can tell about an outstanding historical figure. Before making a sculpture, we collect all the necessary information about that personality from books and the Internet. After all, there were no photos at that time. Being the national heritage of the people, history of Kazakhstan narrated in paintings and sculptures in visual samples rather than in books is better remembered by the younger generation.